So what's going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to your fourth React Native tutorial which would be a hello world tutorial for React Native on actual Android device and iOS simulator and uh, in this tutorial I'm just going to show you how to set up your Android device correctly so that your builds are happening and basically you're just ready to go and code. So let's get started. Alright so this would be a hello world tutorial so let's just go ahead and create one. So now if you take a look inside the code, what I want you to do first of all before actually um, starting off with the hello world, just go to your Android folder and just go to this local.properties file. If this does not exist, then create this file. Right? Once you create this file, I want you to I want you to determine what operating system you are running, and hopefully you know that, I believe. And if you do know, then just go ahead and choose one of the lines which is according to your operating system so um, right now I'm running OS X so I'm, so I'm just gonna keep this line and move the other two right and just save this basically this file is just telling the react native where the SDK is located for Android right and once you do that basically we are good to go so now you can just go to app.js and change this to hello world with just some text and this is again not an error because um, <clears throat> VS Code is just complaining that this should be in a TypeScript file not a JS file not a problem really but it's okay so there we are and once you're done with that just go ahead to your terminal and write react native run Android and hit enter now I have my personal Android device connected right here if you can see this one right so we can just wait for this build to complete and then I would actually be able to run this application on my real Android device which is this thing right here you can see I can move this around with my finger without actually touching the screen right so here we are and let react native build the application and meanwhile what I can do is inside another tab right here I can say react native run iOS and simulator would be iPhone 8 plus now you cannot do this if you are running anything other than Mac OS X because iOS development unfortunately can only be done on Apple devices so once you do that you can see that I already have my terminal my simulator running with me so um, there we are uh, let's just wait for both of these to complete now this this might take quite some time for first time building but subsequent builds would be faster all right this is because this just needs to set up all that stuff first of all and then later on it could be faster and if you see right here this gets opened right now what the heck is this well, this is a Metro Builder bundler and this opens for Android, right? And what this means is that whenever you change some files, some JavaScript files where your application needs to inform, let's just say your phone or maybe your phone needs to inform that, yeah, something is building, right? So this is done by this thing. So you just need to keep this open in the background and you can see the progress of building, bundling the um, device right now uh, on my Android device as well if you can see that you can see that we get a message that loading from localhost port 881 so yeah that's basically what's happening right now and if you see iOS builds well some sort of stuff is going on here let's just not disturb this thing and let's just get back to our Android build stuff alright you can see that our Andro Android bundler is 100% done. So let's just see what's up on my screen. Hey, it's hello world from react native So you can see this is a truly native application running on your device on your Android phone right now Coded in JavaScript, right? And this is a real Android device Actually real because I'm just mirroring my phone on the Mac OS mm, The iPhone build seems to take some time 
but it's okay let's just wait for it to build okay so looks like we got it so it says this build succeeded and uh, it also install and launch so let's just see how it's looking like so you can see that it's now our bundler is again bundling the iOS app and let's just wait for it to complete loading all right you can see that we get a nice little hello world in the center of the screen on our iOS device as well so if you take a look and uh, if I just bring this down you can see that we are running the same piece of code on two different operating systems using react native that's the power of react native so this was a very basic hello world program with react native and in the next tutorial from the next tutorial onwards let's just dive deeper into how to code such apps such awesome apps with react native i'll see you then in the next video